Greetings, everyone. This is Creating Gren. I don't know why they're laughing, but join us as we play Dungeons and Dragons, the fifth edition around Yield Table, throwing dice, telling stories, and creating legacies. With me are the laughers at the table, the Crit Crew. To my left, we have. Uh, I'm Brian. I play Imon Drevin, the aquatic half elf, Bardadin. And I just, just I, I'm on, you know hasn't been getting good sleep and doesn't like his mind being, you know, fucked with. It's it's not good. He, 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 he ruined his chances with ecstasy. It sucks for us too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Jason playing Knox, a changeling rogue, and I have the power of a moonblade. <laughs> I'm Katie, playing Elias Eidolon, an Air Genasi druid, who doesn't like being attacked by his friends. That's not, that's not a great way to wake up. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm Maria, I'm playing Rilda Farseeker, the drow ranger, and spending all that money put bad taste in her mouth. I'm used to just finding what I need in the, the forest, so it was just kind of rough, and then I had to deal with Imon, so I'm tired and cranky. And my name is Eric, and I have the privilege of being your Grin Master, or GM, for this chapter of our tale. So, last we left off, you had traveled back to Merchant's Landing. A lot of revelations were had. It only took 40-something episodes to figure things out. <laughs> you did some shopping! Yay. <laughs> it's required, not always entertaining. There was bad dreams. That was entertaining. <laughs> Uh, and now you find yourself completing a long rest, but being damaged from dreams. See previous episode. What do the four of you at the table currently wish to do? What's, uh, where are we going next, then? <laughs> um, to the forest? To another place? Uh, there's only so many places we can jump. Uh, well, um... What does the Sending Stone say? Oh, I was yeah. about to say, it's a new day. Have I, have I got a buzz yet or not? Have <laughs> you got a buzz yet? A buzz. <laughs> Before um, I start day drinking. You can't drink all day if you don't start in the morning. <laughs> what you get is there is a indication there is a message. There is basically like a very garbled, broken up message that is un... Decipherable. Thank you for the word. I couldn't think of it. <laughs> I really couldn't. There's nothing. It's like static. static. The last you're message. You're not sure. If, you're not sure if it's broken or if something bad happened. Last message that I had was, you know, we needed to take care of the Demogorgon. Love that. that they us. were handling. They were handling the dragon, and the capital, and the treadle along the coast. Is there somebody in this? area where we could go and talk to that could reach out or would be receiving the information? Um, what if it's Trainor? Yeah, Trainor would be the best <clears throat> person in, in You rang as he walks up. <laughs> what happened to you guys? I thought you guys took a long rest as he looks like even more withered. Like he's not sleeping well what himself. What you? Uh, I had a worse <laughs> night than you. Let's just say that. I'm the only one who got set on fire here. <laughs> you were a drow assassin for the Empress. I'm sorry. Anyway, I'll tie you down next time. things are not going well <laughs> in the capital. Come on, bro. <laughs> Which capital? It was the, it's the capital of Landgate and Alteratus, where the Syndicate is stationed in Syndicate Hall. Gotcha. I mean, it we knew, is, we just want to make sure you knew. It is, yeah, well, I appreciate that. It is under siege by the Skilled Dragon. My last communications. What about, we've, we've received information about a tree needle, needle tree. That, the tree of needles has made its way into the... Oh boy, I'm really good at my map. I should do this because I wrote and drew all this stuff. You would think. Yeah, thanks. Uh, it has made its way into the Treant Timbers on Alteratus. It is approaching and or getting ready to do something at Soul Shepherd's Hollow. Uh, 
that's north. That's where another well of magic is at. I'm assuming. Maybe. He he can't confirm that. He just tells you what he knows or what he's got. He um, also indicates that he doesn't have any more forms of communication. Everything is like a long distance, like carrier pigeon. <laughs> Essentially, like, that's all I got so far. No one's reached out to me. My communication is cut like anybody else's. So as a general, like, probably the ley lines have issues, right? The Fountain of Magics are causing communication issues. It could be. It could be that. It could, could be the stone has Everybody's been crushed. dead. It could be his stone could be crushed. There could be anti-magic fields or barriers or spells blocking. Those are numerous things. What? Are you talking about Trainer's stone or is he did Trainer say his stone? No, Trainer says his forms of communications that he has with the syndicate and the capital and stuff, he's just, he got nothing. Gotcha. You and assume he has either like some sort of spell or something like that or stone. Okay. In lieu of us using res precious resources that dwindle too quickly, is there, do you have any way of us moving about a circle of teleportation, anything like that you have access to? Besides the oh. one in the basement. Well, that's the only right. one we have access to Okay. Currently. No other ones that go to any of the other cities. Well, I know that Cinder was developing a unique kind of system with the teleportation circle downstairs. If you looked at the circle, it's not drawn by chalk, but the ruins and things are actually etched into the floor. I believe the stones can be picked up and changed, like a dial, like you can like alter the rooms to go different places, but where they go, I don't know. Hmm. So That's above my pay grade. You, they're permanently etched in. You can use them, like I said, you can shift the stones in different ways to communicate. If we use another coordinate, basically, we could change it. Like a Stargate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've never actually seen Stargate. Oh, it's pretty cool. Smargate. I'm not that if you, kind of if nerd. You like, if you like <laughs> sci-fi, it's pretty good. I just like sci-fi. Okay, you know. Yeah, I'm not that kind of nerd. It's good. Alright, anyways, um <laughs> Okay. The fog. Well we know right. that potentially a new well of magic is popping up in the northeast. Yes. That's interesting to believe it. That's what Trey and I say. <clears throat> yeah. Now the question is I'm assuming that there's a well of magic at the capital um, in Alteratus. That's fact. It's buried down below. Okay. Um, it sprung up after the surge. And and the, the, the soul place that you had talked about, what what's up with that? Soul Shepherd's Hollow. That's where the... Oh, man, you're really testing my brain power here. Essentially, that's where a vast majority of the Druid connection is in the treant timbers so there's several kinds of druids that are there two clans of druids if i remember there's the uh and that's also where the soul shepherd clerics yes the death, well. the death the clerics, death clerics. yes mm -hmm. the soul shepherds is what they refer to as mm -hmm. and then there's the druids i think there's one called like the the tree slingers or something like that i created a while ago i have to with There's the also a lot of treants like in that Timbers as well. With the organization like that, it could be possible there's a well of magic there. If that's the case, it's a possibility that the treant is after that well, in which case, do you know, or that were, were there supposed to have been any other wells of magic on this continent, on Stygian? Um... Outside of the one at Tyrdal. I am aware of at least two wells besides Tyrdal. There's one in Stonecrest, I think is what it said. Sorry, Stonehaven, and there's one in Ravenscrest. The cities are built upon, much like the capital of Alteratus. Stonehaven is directly east Alangi, Alteratus, sorry. of Tyrdal. Which is the direction it, and path that it's like southeast. It's in the south. Oh, is it southeast? The I, one, the one straight east is Ravenscrest. Okay, Ravenscrest is straight east. Okay, so 
There's a possibility. Do you know if anyone in this city would have any communication? Quick, fast communication with anyone at Raven's Crest. I don't know. Okay. You'd have to find that out. Do you know who would be the best person in the city to talk to to find that information out? Here's the mayor or king <laughs> ruler of this. The Martin's Landing? I probably believe there was. I have to look through my notes. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Another question <clears throat> that while well, he's perusing his um, connections. Uh, but if we are after the demon prince... No, we're not going to deal with a demon king. <laughs> so, like, are we going to like be make dad mad or mom mad by any chance? We're going to crush uh, the demon prince and then demon king is like, you hurt my son, prepare to die? <clears throat> my name is Inigo Montoya. <laughs> yeah, my like, son. Prepare to die. <laughs> That's my kind of nerd. <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, it's, yeah, any, any, <laughs> anything is possible, I would assume. But, um, so you could try to get in touch with Barbosa Scurvycroft. Barbosa Scurvy. He's the one that kind of manages his merchant's landing. He was an old sea captain. wonder if he knows Carrick. Maybe. Scurvy what? Craft? Scurvy Croft. Croft. Mm -hmm. Bring him some lemons. Uh, does the syndicate have a okay, decent relationship with them? Do you know? Mm, they're not on good terms. They're not on terrible terms, but they're not in alliance. Does that make sense? That makes sense. He knows of the syndicate. He mm -hmm. prefers to stay not aligned with the syndicate. Understood. Okay, so that won't really be of much help having the, you know, bookmark of the syndicate with us. Okay. You could also try reaching out to his basic, basically his first mate who's very loyal to him. His name is Brian, and he's a water genasi. Okay. These are notes for our first episode that never got touched. <laughs> now they're coming back. It happens. All right. Um, well. Ilias was a merchant. Would he know these people? I would say you may have heard of them uh, by name or reputation. You've never met them. You would obviously you'd be able to know that um, Barbosa has been governing for about two decades, and he used to see cap or captain the Moonlight Rider. That's about what your knowledge would give you. Moonlight, Moonlight right here, yeah, one word. Interesting. Well, I think it might be worth a little bit of time to see whether or not we can have a quick little discussion with Barbosa. Um, Ilias, uh, are you able to uh, transport us to your plants? today if needed. Yes. Okay. Cool. Alright. Just in case we can't find some way to get there from Barbosa, we can at least get close and then start heading that way. Because if Ravencroft is uh, great crop Raven Ravencroft? Ravencrest. Crest, shit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ravencrest. Isn't under attack yet. <laughs> they very well may be soon. Um, or 
the Demi Gorgon will veer off and head towards the new font of magic that uh, is developing. What do you guys think? Sounds like a I'm good. Yeah. Yep. I'm not a big planner. <sighs> I hate being the leader sometimes. <laughs> If you give me the options, I'll make the decision, but I can't make an informed one, so you might want to go with your plan. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see if we can try and... Uh, what, where, what would be, where would be the best place? Where would Barbosa's... Uh, he's got it. He's got his mansion in the Noble District, which is going to be about... All the way up in here. Okay. Mm the uh, top northeastern of uh, the city. All right, well, let's start heading that way. Let's see what we can find. Okay. Sound like a plan? Sounds like a plan. Okay. It'll take you guys about 30 minutes on foot to make your way up there. Uh, the city is to a buzz. There's a bunch of uh, ships coming in and a lot of ships going out, bringing in the imports, the exports that are doing things. Um, you... on, the, on the way, you'll notice Rilda compulsively checking her money pouch just like every few mm -hmm. seconds, every time somebody passes, I'm just like, let me check and make sure it's still there. She has more attention this to is, it. This, <laughs> right. is, this is the point. In, in a city, you have two money pouches. You always have two. You have one that's filled with nothing that you hang off, and you have another one that you keep stashed inside. I'm like automatically just like shoving it in. <laughs> So along the way, you guys are going to be able to see different types of like graffiti or ragged looking banners that have symbols on them. The symbols look like this. Ooh, like Crossing it. swords sure, around the crescent moon. Okay. Ooh. Are those the Luna symbols? Yep. Or the moon goddess? You are going to be able to recognize these symbols you encountered. As people that bear or bore these symbols, your first arrival here. It's the people that tried to thug us. That's it. Oh. Us. I'm just letting you know that you're seeing these things on your way. Great. That's fine. Be on, be on Let guard. Them try. You will get into the noble district obviously the buildings are much nicer they're not what you would expect for noble buildings they're well built but they're not like lavish okay. um you meander your way down you'll see like several buildings have like large flags or banners bearing those markings that are proudly waving and then you will come upon the noble house that is brandishing and displaying that as well Okay. Well, this is a much nicer part of the area. Yeah. Why doesn't everybody just choose to live here? There are guards at the front door. There's no other restrictions or protection other than just the guards at the front door. You can see. Yeah. Well, let's walk on up. Okay. <clears throat> Two guards will stop you guys about ten feet from them. Good day. There to you. Something I can help you with as they look around very suspicious. Yeah, we were hoping to be able to make the acquaintance of uh, Barbosa. Hmm. I'll pull out my syndicate thing. Uh, probably not very good. Oh, wait. No? No. no. We are. Uh, okay, never mind. I'm stopping. <laughs> <laughs> we're a group of adventurers that. Breathe well, the room. <laughs> To be quite honest, um, like to dabble and keep status quo the way it is. As I am quite sure, looking at the little bit of uh, circles under your eyes, you have currently been experiencing some nice terrors and issues with sleeping. We know what is causing that and are currently going to be working on solving that. We're hoping that Barbosa may be able to give us a little bit of information if he has uh, 
ties to some of the other cities. Being his esteemed role, I'm sure he has ways of communicating with other individuals in other cities. Of course, as well, being the main merchant's pathway. Wait right here. I'll see if he's available. One guard will take in, the other one stands in the center of the door, and he looks like he's very serious about his job. I'd say five minutes or so later, the other guard come back, comes back and says, Barbosa is willing to see you if you could pay the tithe, is what I'll say. And what is a said tithe? 75 gold per person who wishes to speak with him. Very well. He steps back in the doorway, comes back with a small box or coffer, opens it up. I uh, will go ahead and... Do we all <clears throat> want to go in? Mm, I was going to say, how, how many people wish to come in? I don't love the idea of going in, but if everybody goes, I will go. Don't worry, darling. Stay. You can stay out here with me if you'd like. Is what we're in our side. We'll keep out here. <laughs> yeah, we'll keep a lookout. Make sure everything's copacetic on this side. We'll be fine out here. We'll watch your six. Is what she whispers. I'm going in. All right. I'll go in. All right. So I'll go ahead and throw two hundred and twenty-five gold. As you do, it goes, just vanishes inside the coffer. And closes the coffer. Follow me. But you he's, see it disappear? Yes. Like mm -hmm. it doesn't hit the bottom. It just... Uh, he leads you in. As soon as you enter in, you hear music from like a harpsichord playing or filling the halls. He's going to lead you up to the second floor, to the back of this building, where there is an opulent balcony. Kind of open-aired. You're going to see... A regally dressed water genasi who is standing arms crossed behind him and then you are going to see another blue skinned male which you presume to be Barbosa uh, who is sitting enjoying a cup of fine wine uh, looks like he's partaking in some type of tobacco smoke or something like that via a very unique looking coral pipe and he has a little bit of a belly on him. He looks as if he was once a pretty intimidating sea captain, now turned into slight politician, if you will, or man of noble, or someone who has enjoyed the frivols of success, I guess is the best way to put it. Mm -hmm. uh, the guard's going to lead you there, and he's going to announce that he says, these are the three that wish to see you, Barbosa. And he will look, and he will dismiss the guard who steps out. What business do you have with me? Well, to be quite honest, uh, kind of two items of business. Uh, first is uh, we're hoping that you have in your esteemed uh, station ways of communicating with some of the other cities, informing them of potential issues or items that have come through your city and is making their way to theirs. Perhaps, that's what he says. And uh, with that, I'm hoping that you would be able to um, let us know or perhaps even reach out to the city of Ravencroft uh, to determine, or Ravencrest, to determine <laughs> um, whether or not they uh, are under siege by a gargantuan demon. <laughs> Did I they know. notice? It sounds crazy. Sorry. I've seen a lot. It doesn't sound crazy, <laughs> is what he's going to say. Well, <clears throat> I'm sure in your journeys and travels you've heard many of stories. I've seen many of things as well. Things that would make you shit your pants. <sighs> Well, he died, so... <laughs> yeah, uh, that did happen once. Um, it was quite quite pleasant, actually, over there. But, <laughs> uh, with that being said, um, as I'm sure that you have noticed, uh, recently, many people have been having issues with sleeping. 
This is... You will see that he does not appear to be one of them. Yeah. He seems well rested. <clears throat> perfectly fine. This is in part due to uh, the recent um, revival of a uh, demon lord known as the Demigordon, Prince of Demons. He's being the smell on his pipe. Last seen, he was heading eastward from a city named uh, Tyrdal. If you have familiarity with that, the drow capital. I've known a few people from there, is what I'll say. Well, want to uh, see whether or not it has made its way all the way to Raven's Crest. We assume it's heading there based on its last trajectory, but if it hasn't reached there yet, it either will in the next day or so, or it's heading somewhere else. So information would be greatly appreciated as we are preparing to defeat this creature. And what do you have in trade for this information, if I can acquire it for you? Would you perform a favor or service for me, if need be, upon called? If need be, depending on what said service or favor is. I assume that, as of recent, some of the merchant ships haven't been coming in quite as often as normal. As you may or may not be aware, there's catastrophic events taking place on most countries at the moment. He begins and to I'm look... quite sure that that takes a little bit of money out of your pocket, of your normal ties. He looks at the back. water genasi, Brian, and Brian looks back to him with a subtle mm-hmm, like nah. <laughs> So, <clears throat> the defeat of the catastrophe taking place on this city and this con continent, I'm sure will, shall we say, entice more visitors and more trade to come in through Merchant's Landing, more individuals to paint your type. I think that alone is well worth the information. Give me your persuasion. And I I'm will... Use the guidance. Very, try to very subtly... <laughs> Slide of hand for the guidance. Oh, jeez. You said <clears throat> subtly. I know. I meant, like, walk up and pat his back. <laughs> Go get him, sport. Put a hand on his shoulder. Just give him the old pat on the butt. Good job, <laughs> champ. Good job, champ. 17 yeah. for the sled of hand. That's good. <laughs> and I'm checking on something. Well, yes, we know you have like plus 32. This is your strong suit. Yeah, I'm going to use my Channel Divinity Emissary of Peace. Oh, well played. So that will bump me an extra 5 on my Persuasion. That's a 23. Can also give you another D6 if you need it. Huh? I'll also give you another D6 if you need it. Plus your D4 from Guidance. Alright, uh, yeah, why not I use that D4 just because that would be funny. Okay. okay. 21. <laughs> 31, <laughs> 33, uh, 30, yeah, 38. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Convincing. <laughs> Convincing enough, you've spoken eloquently, and you've pretty much established that, you know, you're already kind of doing them a favor. So he basically says, I'll send word to my contacts in Raymond Crest, and I'll get back to you. Do you have a place in which you can be found? We currently are um, taking up residence at the Dragon Anti. Three Dragon Anti. Three Dragon Anti. Okay. No, it's just Dragon's Anti. Oh, that was Three Dragon Anti. Three Dragon Anti is the game. Yes, I know that. But I think it's just Dragon's Anti. Tavern and then. You're probably right, because these are old ones. Anyway, I will send. Messenger, when I have word, the dragon's anti correct. I was wrong for an episode now. Anyway, <laughs> retconned cannon. Um, and I will have word within the day. Okay, 
Um, the last request I have is if they are currently under siege, do you have means of transportation there quickly outside of a caravan or something as slow as that? Yes, I have a way to get you there. Okay. We'll see what your messenger states, and we will discuss that on our return. Then. Okay. That'll be seen. You guys will be escor escorted out, and I guess just waiting on word. Yeah, Is unless there's anything else you guys can think of you want to do. No. No. Time will pass. Several hours will come and go as you guys kind of just play the waiting short game at the rest. dragons. Yep, you can short rest. If the I dragons, Annie. Study the wizard spellbook. Can I do anything with it? <laughs> you can tell it's a wizard spellbook, but as far as like the spells that are in it, you really can't do anything with it. It's for a wizard. You can okay. sell it if you want to try to sell it. I'll hold on to it for the moment. <laughs> After you guys have food and drink and rest, it's going to be a human male, probably about 13 or 14, that comes into the tavern, essentially goes to the barkeep, whispers something to the barkeep, the barkeep points over to where you all are sitting and is going to bring you a rolled up piece of parchment and plops it down on the table. Nods and takes his leave. You got mail. Yeah. You got mail. <clears throat> Take a look at the parchment. Word has been received. There is no activity or no influences in Ravencrest. Okay. We believe this. Like we, do you think that he's cool? I don't think he has any reason to lie. He didn't but... look like he was tired. <clears throat> You weren't in there. I mean, you told me he didn't look like he was tired. <laughs> yes, but uh, that doesn't necessarily mean too terribly much. Um, just because he isn't feeling the effects of this doesn't mean that his wallet isn't feeling the effects of this. Probably. What did the water brine man look like as far as exhaustion? Yeah. He, he looked about like typical like he looked Everybody. like he was tired but he wasn't like exhausted or you know being depleted from lack of sleep yeah. a little tired but not nothing crazy okay just uh Throwing keeping that out it there. in my back <clears throat> pocket that they did not appear well you also you know keep in mind that before, well, one, <laughs> one, he's he's rich. Yes, yeah. he can definitely pay to have the effects negated. But on top of that, the payment. Think about how often you or Knox have been affected by that. Not that often. The only one that's been consistently affected is Ivan. Mm. Yeah. Yes, we he, know very well. <laughs> I'm just, you know. <laughs> very well, and, you know, has a, could have a hardier constitution and, and everything to. He's definitely. They're very wise individuals. <laughs> I mean, to have gone from being a pirate to now the so essential <laughs> mayor of an entire city it takes a little bit of wisdom to do such a thing. I just want to be sure, you know, when he didn't just write down. Nothing's going on. Send it over, and now you know we owe him a favor, and the place is getting blown up. Well, the only thing well, we, we really owed him was what we were going to do anyway. <clears throat> yeah. So, he made it sound like he's going to be calling on us. No, I, above I the table. kind of rejected that and said that by us doing this is favor is enough. kind of favor him. enough okay. because because that's more money in his pocket if we can defeat this. Okay. I'm no debate master. I just want to be sure that, you know, 
We're not going to have to deal with the evil merchant after we deal with the Demogorgon and Demogorgon King and everybody. I think if we've we got a lot of people. make it out of defeating the Demogorgon, a single merchant isn't going to be that much of an issue. Mm -hmm. We can send the assassin after him. That's <laughs> yeah. Assassinate. Instead of the <laughs> I already got a lay of his house. <laughs> and I now true. know what everybody looks like in there. Assassinate. Right. That's assassinate. why I went inside. He'll disguise himself as one of the guards. He'll disguise himself as one of the So what crying. is the next play? Do we want to go to Teardal and check on the queen? Or do we want to try and track down this Demogorgon? We can do either. I have a hunch that the Demogorgon is heading towards the new Well of Magic. Probably. So, we know it was northeast of where we were. I mean, if we go and stop to find, stop by the Tear Doll and see how the Queen and all of that is doing, it does add about three days worth of travel. Potentially. Potentially. Why do we need to check on the queen? We don't necessarily need to. So we cut this thing off we before it gets to where it's supposed to go. Transport as far northeast as we've been, and then we would have to that's follow. The, that's the falls. Pretty sure. Uh, the Vanishing Falls. No, well, I think the Unless small we're... city, um, whatever it was, Thessaly or whatever. Tathira? Huh? Tathira? Tathira, yes. Isn't that more northeastern than the falls? Because that was like a three-day... Sure, we'll go with that. ...track, I thought. Or does this guy have a way to get to Raven? He does. Then we just head north. Potentially, but we don't know exactly how far... Well, if we can get his scent. I'm pretty good at following things. It's kind of... My thing. I don't know that. I mean, is, are we ready to go face the Prince of Darkness? Not I, mean, I don't feel like keeping Prince making Fury. wisdom saving throws every day. It, it's not going to get any better. Yeah. And everybody else is already engaged with. Do we also need to figure out how to use the amulet? That we do. Yeah, we do need to figure out. And fortunately, freaking old man is no help. Hey. <laughs> I wonder if there's any... I'm limited by what I can do up here. Are there any old magic users around these parts? In so Merchant's Steven. Landing, uh, you're on a quest to find somebody. <clears throat> Yeah. If you can get to Celestina and or um, Celestina bring... would be in Tear Doll. Yeah. Another, another book for Tear Doll. Back to her grove, I think. Now, Celestina is in Alteratus. On, sorry, in I mean I keep doing that in Landgate on the continent of Alteratus. Good lord. Okay. Wait, Celestina went to Landgate. She yes, she left with she left season with one Ezra. warriors. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna go take care of some stuff. Gotcha. Albus would be another very old one you could, mm. but he is also in Can Landgate. In Landgate, which we technically don't. Well, I think we were told that's where he was at, but we don't really know him. Know how to get to Landgate, right? Because <clears throat> you've never been to Landgate. <sighs> Yeah, I think I think going and trying to track down where Demi was going. <clears throat> the only thing to do damage control. I mu he must be leaving a yeah. He must be leaving a wake of chaos at least. Oh, he's so. yeah, totally not. Yeah, oh, yeah. Pass while <clears throat> tracing his footsteps. He's just knocking his pathway. He fears mm -hmm. not. So, I mean, we can go to Tear Doll and just start following his tracks. Do we know if he, like, will enthrall people or, like, gather forces or evil stuff with him, like, as he moves and stuff? Like, do we know, do I know that as a person? Uh, you guys have already experienced it. 
You guys witness the strange kind of polymorphed. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Not the mind flares. The. The mini gorgons. The mini gorgons. The mini gorgons. Right. And then, like, the straight. The, the strange, <laughs> seductive drow females that were gooey trees. That was the whole. Crit Insight couple episodes, which were fantastic. Please go watch them. Mm hmm. They were yeah. really good. A lot of fun. Yeah. So I guess the so, longer that we go, the more forces and things he's gathering. He's gathering as well. Of I mean, yep. There's like tons of creatures and beings and things that may have been lying dormant, waiting for him to return. Essentially, you know, goes are goes are worshippers. <laughs> Should we? head west of this ley line, this well and try and scout from the other side well don't we don't know exactly where the well is we just know it was northeastern right i mean it could be northeastern in the middle of the continent on the far eastern side of the continent how many it could days have been uh freaking five miles from where we were at how many days east is the coast the coast. I'm not He's smart enough. From <laughs> from where? From where like you from are? Tier, from Tierdal, where the Demogorgon started. How far would he? How many days would it take to walk to the east coast? Oh, he's a lot faster because he's larger in stature. He. he For us, I if, guess. If he wanted to go from Tierdal all the way across the continent, yeah, he could probably. He probably would be there by now. Yeah, so I mean, to it. chances are good. We're not catching him in his path. We're not. He's already done. He's already got there. Now he's preparing for what he wants to do, and he's not being a secretive about it. I don't think we're gonna have any trouble figuring out his path once we find the path. Well, you are on the path. So, I feel like if we go that route, we need to be ready to do the thing. I don't think there's any scouting or any. Thing we can do ahead of time. We need to be ready to with our people. Uh, I don't think we're gonna get the jump on this person, this monster. I don't think that. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy, but. Question for you. Sure. Here. From the stories and different things that Imon has potentially heard of, different creatures and all of that epic hero tales and stuff. Sure. Generally some of the strongest creatures have a layer or create a layer effect around them. I know Correct. Who I'm on be aware sure. of such yeah. a thing. But something is so this is I'm on going on a limb. A lot of <clears throat> creatures like this take find a location that they will make their kind of sanctuary mm. and it takes a little bit of time to transform the entire landscape in that area to make it an effective layer for them sometimes mm. not always sometimes it's very quick i've heard stories of dragons powerful dragons that have been able to do that and if He's currently trying to make a layer somewhere. It could be anywhere, and knowing where it is and scouting in that area will probably start to feel effects as we get close. It might be nice to know where that is, and it's very possible that it will be at the Font of Magic because that very well could speed the process up. don't know hmm. Nox what do you think I'm still saying we get ahead of it try to get ahead of it problem is we don't know exactly where that font of magic is we could go and teleport as opposed to Raven's Crest and then see whether or not it's still in the eastern direction or northern or yeah you know how north versus east it is and Raven's have a bus better idea the rest would probably be closer than 
anywhere we would transport via plant. I just don't think we want to get behind it and try to catch up to it, because I don't know. We don't know if this thing sleeps. We don't know. Like, we have to rest. Mm -hmm. Correct. And we need time to assemble. Okay. I mean, if we're aware of the map, we can also go to Greymore or somewhere along the way on the path. But I think, based on what we know, the major capitals and big, bigger built the cities that they're going after, Raven seems to be the way to go. Okay. So Raven's Crest, then. Uh, I guess we will go back to Barbosa and see if we can... Before we go to Raven's Crest, is there anywhere farther west east that we could go that he might have that we just don't know about? You know what I mean? Like, can we... Is there a coastal city we could go to? <clears throat> farther east? Well, how many, yeah. how many days has this thing been up now? Like, five or six? Mm. I mean, it could be literally anywhere in this entire continent. Yeah, we can look at Rose... I mean, there's Rosehold or Raven Crest. Raven Crest is pretty far over. Yeah, yeah Raven Crest is pretty far over. This is so sour. Wait, what's up, Fort? Fort, Fort Stormcrest. That's as northeast as it gets, but we don't have any idea what's there, right? Have any of us been there? Um, can we do like an arcana or history check just to see if we know anything historical about Ravencrest or Rosehold that might point our internal compass over one over the other? Uh, you could do a you could do a history check. A major Ooh, natural twenty. Not a natural twenty. Sixty. Twenty or not twenty. Ten. Five. <laughs> so I have sixteen and twenty are the highest. Twenty and the sixteen will be good enough to know that Raven's Crest was once a city built by a vampiric lord. And that through the decades has since been dealt with and now houses normal civilization, but there still is vampiric influences within the walls of the city. It is definitely the largest city of all the cities between Stonehaven and Rosehold. The other thing is, if he's not at Raven's Crest yet, he should have gone to Raven's Crest if he continued on his approximate trajectory. If he didn't, did he stop off somewhere before there? And is just chilling somewhere. Rolls home. Or somebody be, be, somewhere between that. If anything, we're going to get information from someone at Raven's Crest. Someone's going to be the go. Okay. If that's if that's where you're planning on traveling to, yes, you can go about that route. But again, time's a ticking. Well, time works very differently on the outside than in the end. Mm -hmm. I just don't know. If it, maybe it just it, maybe it's not even gotten a rose hold yet. If it's going east, depending on if it's six days. We were in the Shadowfell for a week. It's definitely there. And that was after it. If they say what? in Raven's Crest there has been any action, I would hope that they would put in like two weeks ago. I, I'll, a confirm, I'll confirm you guys to kind of get you off the red herring <laughs> that you're chasing here, essentially. Hmm. Is the information that was given to you by Barbosa was accurate. He has no need to fool you. You've yeah. kind of made your thing, so there's nothing going on in Raven's Crest. It's just, do we jump to Raven's Crest and hope that we are cutting him off? Cutting him off. But the thing I, is... I would say that you could do enough investigation if you wanted to spend an entire day here in the landing to find... If we have information from anywhere else. You could literally find out that there's no news or word of anything that you guys are describing that's been cited or dealing with anything in those areas. Which would, to kind of keep you on track or in direction, is you're pretty much confirming that it is not or has not left 
the mm, Twisted Timbers. Twisted Timbers. Mm. Somewhere in there, either finding a font of magic or creating a layer within the... Those are very world. good, very strong assumptions. Okay, so in that case, I argue for Rose Hold. If we can get a, find a way to Rose Hold. And then come backwards. Or Graymore and yeah. even work our way down if it hasn't even made it as far as Graymore. But I mean we've we've we been here. like yeah, we've been like midway through. Here. Yeah. Head south, find the path and follow wherever it or just completed to or go northeast. Go northeast. Yeah. Yeah. That's my vote. Go back to the the little town of Talus whatever Tathira mm -hmm. and head towards the font of magic that's my vote go there see what's going on <sighs> because I like I'm on uh, I, th I think that's where he would head he came from a font of magic it then was destroyed I think he's going to use the next one to create a layer and strengthen himself. Okay, let's go. All right. That's, that's my thought. Okay. You good, Runa? Yes, <laughs> darling. I'm just I'm fantastic. I know. I'm <laughs> glad. <laughs> I love when you do that. It's so cute. <laughs> oh, gross. Okay, All right, let's, let's go. go. Find a tree. <laughs> Unless right. we want to. What? If it took us the whole day to figure that out, is it now nighttime again? Yeah. I would say so. You could take another long rest if you want to. Burn another day. Do you want a long rest here where it's relatively safe before going back into the timbers? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. Let's let's do it then. Everybody returns to their room. For a long rest. Is um, Ecstasy working tonight? Uh, no, she's not. She's been given the night off. Probably because you're scared the shit out of her. I know. <laughs> I was... Okay. Um, Should we sneak into his room? Use sleight of hand to tie him down to the bed. <laughs> I... And then it's you that loses your mind. <laughs> I'm going to go to the bartender and mm -hmm. hand over 100 gold. And say, please pass this along to Ecstasy. My apologies and relay my apologies for what happened. I was not in the right state of mind when she came to my door last night. I'll be sure to do that. Thank you. Okay. Everybody ready for a long rest roll? Ready for it. Wisdom saves people. that what you uh -oh. got there i'm on i'm on byron it's a nine <laughs> boy oh boy okay nat 20. hey 24. 23. <laughs> you sir are the weakest link <laughs> i'm like if you want to get rid of me just say it <laughs> Not okay. <laughs> A gentle repose again. <laughs> you, Imon, hear the sound of a knocked over tankard hitting the floor in the bar below. <laughs> it jolts you awake. Remember your nightmares. <laughs> uh, well, the problem is, I probably wouldn't really yep. think about that at this point in time. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna head out to the bar. It's very low light, dim light. It's very early in the morning. 
everyone is asleep it feels secure like the windows look like they're all locked things close you overlook and you can see where the tankard is kind of very subtly kind of waving back and forth on the floor and just comes to a stop you look off out of the peripheral to your left and you see a shadow that moved but it blends into the darkness and it's down behind the bar or near the bar I'm going to cast Detect Good and Evil. Okay. The rest of you will hear the door open, and you will hear the subtle footsteps of someone walking about on the second floor. You either choose to continue to sleep on, or you choose to get up and see what happens. If you continue to sleep on, you will get a long rest. You'll be oblivious to whatever takes place. If you choose to get up, you will lose the effect of a long rest, but be able to investigate what's going on. Can we make the decision at a Daddy came to play these few <laughs> weeks. <laughs> I got some stuff. I'm sleeping. Okay. Nox to sleep. That means you're out of whatever takes place. You're fast asleep. What's, um, what's the other two choices? I rolled. I rolled if the dice made my decision for me. Hold on. I only need four hours a day. Sure. So can we say I got my four? Or no? I, you know, I'll tell you what. It's morning. Let's I would have gone Roll to me a D8. D8? If you get four or higher, I'll give it to you. Come on, dice. Eight. So, yes, you would get your four hours in. So you would be rested. Okay. Yeah, I would still be meditating, but if I heard the door, I definitely at least would peek my head out. Because okay. I know I'm on, has such weak, weak brains. <laughs> Even though he's got three of them in there. Just kidding. Okay. Be surprised. It <laughs> has an effect on you. Um, sure does. <laughs> I will, if I see him like kind of going down to his, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. I would say at this point, as you're kind of looking around and just as you kind of see that shadow play, you will hear Rilda whispering. You'll hear also, oh, go back to bed, sweetheart. <laughs> Quiet. I want to add it again. He's okay. doing a silly thing. You go back to sleep, my darling. Done. Okay. <laughs> Fast asleep. He's much more wolf. sleep than me. Yeah. So many hours a day. What have we decided, Ilias? Are you in or are you out? Are you resting? Ilias is going to poke his head out. Okay. Not see anything immediately happening and go back to bed. Okay. There you go. So he doesn't want to deal up. with it tonight. That's fair. What are you going to do? Uh, so I turn and I see Rilda. I grab yeah, my bow. She's like peeking out, kind of whispering, trying to find out what's going on. Uh, there was something downstairs. Knocked over a tanker and it woke me up. And there was something in the shadow. I seemed to have gone in the shadow. I slam my, like, I don't slam, but I like close my door quickly and like go and like straighten up my clothes, my night clothes and grab my, my bow Okay. and head down there. Okay. So you start slinking down the steps to kind of go down to the main tavern floor. I'm on, you're still above. Are you going down or? I'm going to keep where I'm at and keep a lookout. Okay. And I just have my eye, I'm like looking at the shadows. I'm watching for so movement. When you come, kind of come out into kind of open up into the main tavern floor, you see the tankard on the floor that he said there was a tankard that got knocked over. And you see exactly what he said is literally in view of you. Like it's they came out of the shadows. There, there's, you just see that the tanker, like, it's physically there. The tanker was knocked off, whatever, in mm. there. You look towards the shadows and you don't see anything until like the last second when you're about ready to kind of like look up towards sure. Imon. When you do, there is an arrow that comes flying directly at you. You see the arrow. It's going to strike you critically, and it deals 18 points of piercing damage 
And you are going to see a figure medium size coming out of the shadow as it is reaching back to grab another arrow to knock it. What are you going to do? I'm going to fire as soon as I can. Sure. Yeah. I'm um, on your first because you were kind of looking out. I'll give you that. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to cast a, a fire bolt at the, the individual there. Sure. Uh, that's a 16. Uh, fireball will illuminate. It hits the bar, but it will it'll illuminate the figure so you can see the figure. Um, what's your passive perception? Like 11? Mine's 11. Yeah, it hits the bar, poof, casts kind of like cascades of flame and stuff kind of erupt. It's magical fire, so it's not going to burn anything per se. It shows the damage, but doesn't catch anything on fire. That's going to be real though. What is your passive perception? 16. You are going to see kind of the silhouette and the eyes and the features of Tenet as he is knocking another arrow pointing it at you. And do, do you want to fire an arrow? Uh, I was going to unload on him, but if I notice it's Tenet, okay. I will... He's probably a good nightmare too. Mm-hmm. Um, no, I'm definitely going to fire at least one. Okay, so Just... you are going to quickly knock your arrow and you guys will level arrows like Old West gunslingers right at each other. Go ahead. <laughs> it's an 18 or 19 to hit. Okay, and that's where we're going to end this chapter of our tale. We'll find out <laughs> in the no. next episode nice. um, what exactly takes place. And since we've reached the chat at the end of the chapter of our tale, we want to thank you all for watching Creating Grin. Tune in on the next episode to find out what the fuck is going on. Ooh. Click and subscribe with the button down below. Smash the bell button, but don't break your device you're smashing it on. We're not or responsible. Can, that's right. You can keep up to date on the newest episodes. Leave us some comments. Follow us on our socials. All those things. And until next time, keep going. Bye. 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 B